Now we'll take a look at the demo of Video Intelligence API. So the steps are very straightforward. What we are going to do is we are going to upload a video into a Google storage bucket and then try the Video Intelligence API on that. So first step, go to cloud.google.com. Make sure you're in the right account. If not, change the account by clicking on the top right corner. So let's click on go to console. So we just need to enable the video intelligence API. So go to APIs and services library, search for video intelligence and cloud video intelligence API. Click on enable. Okay, so the API is enabled. Now for this demo, I'm just going to use a specific copyright free video that's available on the internet. You can use this or any video that you want. Just make sure that it's not too long. It, it will take some time to uh, detect. And if it's too long, then the number of requests could be very high. And so you might get charged for it beyond the free tier. So I'm going to use this particular video. So it's a time-lapse video of vehicles and people moving on the street in 4K. So let me play this video. And as you can see, it's just people, cars uh, moving on a busy street. And you can click on free download. And this site has a lot of uh, other videos as well. Uh, if you want to download some other video now, I've already downloaded this video and what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it into a cloud storage bucket. So let me search for cloud storage. Let me go to the cloud storage service. Let me create a bucket. So we need to give a unique name. So I'm just going to try my luck with video demo one, two, three, four test RAM. Hopefully this is available. Seems like it's available. I'm going to leave the settings as default. If you want to learn more about cloud storage settings, uh, please check the lecture and the demo for the same. I'm going to click on create. And now I'm going to upload this file that I've downloaded. So I'm going to upload this file that I've do downloaded. So it has been uploaded. So now if you go into this, we want this gsutil URI. So let me copy this URL. And the steps are very simple. In Cloud Shell, you just need to use gcloud ml video and detect labels is what we are going to do. And we just have to give the GS path. So let me copy this full thing. Coming back into the Google Cloud, we just need to activate Cloud Shell. Okay, so let me now paste this command and run it. So you need to authorize. And so this typically would take about a minute or so. So we'll wait for it to complete. And okay, so it's completed. So let me maximize this and scroll up, right? So it has analyzed the full video. It was about 40 seconds, I think. And then it's starting to give different things. So for example, there's a, it's a person, then there's a pedestrian, and then the confidence level, what the start offset is, end offset is zero to 11. There's a road, there's a street, a city, downtown, looks pretty uh, accurate to me and that's 90%, yeah, it looked like downtown and so on and so forth. Obviously, this is a time-lapse video of people moving around, so probably you don't get too much info, vehicle, motor vehicle, but if you have another video where there's maybe only one bus going, then the video intelligence API would pretty accurately 
confirm that there is a bus or a vehicle at specific um, timestamps. So clean up. Uh, we just can close this cloud shell. The only thing that we need to do is we just need to go in and delete this bucket. And just as best practice, let's go back to the main project just to see if there are any other resources that have been created. So nothing has been created. So that's cool. So that's that. So that takes care of uh, everything that we have created for this project. So that was a quick demo of Video Intelligence API. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next lecture.